Hello. Welcome to the world of soil mechanics. Today, in this video, we will be covering these points. What is soil mechanics? What is soil? What does it originate and what are its characteristics? The classification based on it. So, let us get down to what is soil mechanics. Soil mechanics is a branch of civil engineering which uses the knowledge of chemical engineering, mechanics, and hydraulic engineering, and so many other branches, and apply it to the soil. So, when I say soil, we have to think about the definition of soil. So, what is soil after? What is soil? Soil can mean different things to different people. Like for an agriculturist, soil is a thing where he grows his crops. So, what exactly soil is to an engineer? So, soil to an engineer is a naturally occurring material. It's an agglomerate. It's an agglomerate of inorganic and organic earth materials on which the conception can be made. So, now that we know the definition of soil, what we deal in soil mechanics, let us look at the characteristics of the soil, which makes the study of it more interesting. Are challenging. Come and talk about Firstly, as I say, the soil is naturally occurring and it is composed of inorganic and organic materials. Next of it is the most important characteristic of, characteristic of soil that it is a particulate material. When I say particulate material, it comes from the particles. So, when you take a rock, steel, or something, it is a single homogeneous, single homogeneous mass, whereas soil is composed of many soil particles. That makes it a particulate material. So, with particulate material, as I said, there will be many implications. Let us look at them. So, soil is. <coughs> Inhomogeneous. That means soil has different characteristics in different places. And soil is anisotropic. That is, characteristics are different in different directions. And next is soil is nonlinear. So, as we have studied in mechanics, linearity means stress is proposed to strain. So, as we see now, soil is a non-linear material. There is no straightforward relationship between stress and strain. So, even though we may assume something opposite to this in many of our analysis, so just to simplify our analysis, the fact remains true that soil is inhomogeneous and isotropic and non-linear material. So these are the complications the particulate nature of the soil brings around it. Apart from these, special characteristics of soil is that it is sensitive to disturbances. It is a very sensitive material. And its characteristic keeps on changing with time and applied pressure. Time and pressure can change the characteristics of soil. So, nothing remains soil for a long same with soil for a longer period and also for a longer distance. Even even for short distances, the characteristics of the soil may keep changing in, in case of distances. So, all these make the study of soil or soil engineering or soil mechanics or whatever, it makes the study more interesting. So, now that we know all this, let us get into the origin of soil. How to actually source it or Soil is basically a product of weathering. It's a product of weathering of rocks. So soil, I can say that is a product of weathering. When I say weathering, there are two types of weathering. One is physical weathering, or also known as mechanical weathering. 
other is chemical. So physical or the mechanical thing, as the name suggests, is purely due to the physical or the mechanical agencies. The blocks get converted into soil, or weathered into soil. So different agencies of physical or mechanical lifts, whether it can be say temperature, say abrasion, erosion, freeze and thaw effects, and many others. Freeze thaw effect and many others. So the important thing to be noted about physical weathering is the 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 soils are formed, soil particles are formed from rocks due to weathering like that, and there will be no change to the chemical composition of the soil. So there is no change in chemical composition. When it comes to chemical weathering, as the name suggests, the soil goes through a process of not only Getting the, the rock mass not only get reduced to a soil particle, the chemical composition also changes. So that is the main difference between physical and chemical. It's there is a change in chemical composition. And like, likewise, like the physical building has so many agents, so does the chemical building like many processes like oxidation, reduction, carbonation, leaching, and so on. So now we know how soil originate, that is due to the weathering of rocks, and we know the kind types of weathering, that is physical and mechanical weathering, and we know the difference between the two types of weathering. So with this information, we should classify the soil. So classification of soil based on whether it stays in its location of origin or not. A soil which remains in the place of its origin is called a residual soil. It resides at the place where it is originated. The soil which moves and it is located in some other place than, it, than the place of origin is the transported soil. It gets transported. So there are two types of soils based on this that is residual soil and the transported soil. Transported soil based on the agencies of transport can be further divided into four types. That is water transported soil, wind transported soils, glacial, glacial transported soils, and gravity transported soils. When it comes to water, there can be it can be a lake, it can be a river, it can be a sea, and hence and, and hence the subtype in the water transported soil. If it is a river, it is called alluvial soil. If it is a lake, it is called lacustrine. Sea is called marine. So alluvial, lacustrine, and marine are the types of water transported soils. When it comes to wind, they are also known as aeolian soils. And the best example would be floods. There is only one kind of glacial soil, and they are only glacial soils. And when it comes to gravity transported soil, gravity transported soils are famously known as colluvial soils. With this, we come to the end of classification based on this criteria. Now we know what is soil mechanics is, and what is soil, and what are the characteristics of soil which makes this study interesting, and the classification. With this, we end the first introductory video.